Lemonade. heads? Limonade. Uh, Limonade. Yeah. She's popped up here and there. Yeah, I've seen her around. Robbie, I'll kill you. But yeah, like, say but not regularly want. though. Say what you want about Lyman, but her lives at two o'clock in the morning were gold. <laughs> they, yeah, we had sushi. Yeah, yeah. that was when we had sushi. fun. Those yeah, were like that right there was the pinnacle of, in my opinion, the pinnacle of YouTube was Lemonhead live at, from 2 in the morning till 6 a.m. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. Actually, one of my favorite moments was um, when I went live and then I think it was the very first time that you ever chatted in my chat. And she uh, we had just been on her panel for a few hours. And so she was really tired and she she just ended it that she was going to bed. And and so then we moved over to my channel. And that was the first time you ever typed in my chat. And she appeared out of nowhere, like backstage. So I let her up. And do you remember that? I absolutely remember. You thought, you thought it was okay for you to do like a personal live after her live and start like, yes. you know, getting a little personal with people. And I was in there going, yo, whatever you do, don't show those pictures of more of you. I tell like one of your kids. Yeah. I'm yeah, going to show. Yeah. I was like, that's fine. Oh <laughs> like, yeah. Hey Nikki, uh, don't do that in here. <laughs> I just couldn't watch someone do, I, you know, right. at that point, I was, I was still so, like wet behind the ears around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. And you at first you thought I was like a little crazy thinking like, you know, maybe this guy's threatening threatening me, but then I think you no. gave it a second review and you're like, Yeah, no, this guy was serious. Because okay, yeah, I was there, that was literally within my very first few months ever in this community. And, and yeah. I really uh, in, you know, engaging with people on social media to be, and I had heard about you. Like I think everyone at that time, like everyone who had come into the community at that time, heard about Granny Fanny. Everyone, and so of course I did. And I'd heard that you were this fucking hacker and this terrible, terrifying guy. You know, this horrible guy. And so I heard all these things, and then you popped up. And you said that you were like, hey, that's not a good idea. Like, don't, you know, if I were you, like, don't be showing, you know, pictures of your kids. And I, I was like, oh my God, he's trying to intimidate me. And then it all happened within a time span of like three minutes from when you said that and she showed up. And it was right. like, oh, it was crazy. Like she lost her shit. And obviously, yes, that time. I now know. Yeah, at that time, all I was known for is I was Critical K's hired gun to yes. dox people. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Which and is hack, absolutely hacking true. Hacking was a big, yeah. the big thing that you were yeah. associated with. So it, like, it just spooked me. I remember that. That was like four or yeah. five years ago. And I, looking back on that now, I, I, am, I just think, of, think to myself, like how stupid, you know, like just in that, you, you will have those moments, everybody, please acknowledge this. But I had the that moment of such stupidity of not thinking, you know, and thank God. And thankfully, yeah, you did come in and say, yeah, don't, you know, don't do that. But I just remember, I remember that. But then I remember her just like, just fucking scared me. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, because all she all all Lyman knew about me was I was critical case, hired gun to dox people, which was a hundred percent true. Uh, I make I make no bones about it. Yes, I do. K's group yeah, I mean K's Facebook group and YouTube channel, people were getting doxed daily. 